Hello and welcome back to Eco. We're on part 9 here on the Vendonia server and we will be making a sawmill. Yes, uh, we'll be making a place for lumber and carpentry buildings. So first of all, we want to go into research and look at the skill book. Of course, we need to learn the skill book for lumber. There we go. Let's learn that. Jolly good. And put that past the shroom right over there. No, nope, we kind of want that. There and that one over there. There we go. Okay. Now I was thinking. That's what that funny noise is. Over here would be a great place for our carpentry area. There's a lot of wooded area. And we'll be able to just chop those trees down, put them straight into stockpiles. And I'm taking a look over there. I've already marked the area out. Just up this road. We'll mark the area out here, and I was thinking we could have two stockpiles on that side and two stockpiles on this side. So we can have we we have an area for wood and lumber and also boards as well. We we'll make that here, and creating that will be on a sort of overpass above us. So with our powered vehicle or a car or whatever, we'll be just be able to stroll up here plunk the wood and if needs be there'll be like a door here or there or maybe on the other side and we'll be able to go up and create what we need and then wander off. Now we, since we've learned our lumber skill we can go into make a sawmill which is over at the anvil so I shall head over there now. Made it to the anvil and we're just going to right off the bat queue up our sawmill. As you can see we already have the materials required which is 20 iron ingots and 30 logs. Way. So in those 15 minutes we're going to go head back over to our carpentry area and finish the building. Alright so we're back at the building and we haven't quite finished in those 15 minutes but what we have done is made somewhat of a frame ready in preparation. Now I'd learned last time to plunk stuff down first and then build around the stuff. <laughs> so we've got a stockpile there and we go up the stairs and then this will be our room where the stuff is. Now we're not sure if those stockpiles are too far away from our items. So if we get our items. So we've got a workbench carpentry table which we'll have and there's our sawmill, our all important sawmill. I think just plunk that there for now and we've got a carpentry table which we're just going to plunk oh, right there and we'll probably have like a roof or something coming up this side so that's one two and that'll probably be snug in with the roof right there and then we'll probably be able to see part of another roof on this side and then this will come out, uh, this will come out, let's see, let's count this, one, two, three. This will probably come out two, or maybe three, across there. And then on the other side we'll have a stockpile as well, right over there. <laughs> and also, so that will be four stockpiles, which should be enough, but I was also thinking, what if we had four? on each side. So we had eight stockpiles. Um, might, might be a bit overkill, but we'll see. I, I want to see how that turns out and also if this actually works. But what does it actually require? It's tier one materials, which we'll definitely have. We'll have this in a room. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't require power or anything. Well, it does require power. Oh no, it requires it does require power. We'll look into that as well. That's something else we'll have to adapt to. But the all important thing is it has access to those stockpiles. It'll be interesting to see as well if I put another stockpile on the other side, if it will reach there. So I'm going to extend one of these areas. Ah, probably that area because it's less work. Alright, so we've managed to get another stockpile in there, which is good. So we come over here, th this would be our car or a powered vehicle coming down there. And as we can see, we've got access to those two stockpiles, which are over there. That's great. So this would be, that would be what, one, two, three, four, and then that was five, and then six over there. 
So more importantly, does this have access to it? And it does indeed. That's great. It'll have access to all of the storage across there. So all we need to do now is complete the building. Oh, and also get... I think it will have a repair bench or something here. Actually, maybe we'll have our... We'll have our... We'll have a workbench there. And... A repair bench somewhere, or maybe a workbench there, or a repair bench there, as you're going up. We'll see, anyway. Moving on. Alright, so as you can see, we've finished our delightful building right here, and now we've got storage, and we'll work our way up to room at the top. We've got two chests there. We've put our workbench down, so we can make a couple of things there. We've got obviously our carpentry table and a sawmill. So, this is a completed building now, so if we go into lumber, let's put some points into these. We should now be able to make our lumber, our all-important lumber. And at the moment, we don't need power for this just yet, but later on obviously we'll have to connect it with a power source. I'm guessing maybe they'll have cables or something to connect these buildings up, but at the moment it's not actually required. That's good. Uh, just look at the storage. We do have access to some wood there. And we've got access to some pulp too, so we can just start that off. Awesome. And if we look at the other side, I was going to mirror it, but I thought, mm, don't really need to. So, there's the rest of our storage here. And in the next part, I think we'll be going on to an industrial area, where we can really start to make our powered car, finally. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that was that. Be sure to hit the like button and share if you wish. Also, let me know your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Until next time.